This is Info Live TV headline news, April 27th. I'm Malpa Dutkevich. Israel is aware of the dangers that it is faced with, and the government will know how to counter those threats. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert said Saturday while attending Mimuna celebrations in Ofakim and Ashkelon. I think that we can say today that the Israeli people has a government that can defend it and a leadership that knows how to care for its security and future, he said. The IDF has captured two terrorists who infiltrated Israel by crossing the Gaza border fence north of Kivsufim Saturday night. IDF forces surrounded the area after the infiltrators were seen in Israeli territory. Soldiers fired at the suspects before apprehending them a kilometer from the border. The terrorists were apparently armed and wearing vests. Syria is ready to cooperate with Turkey in an effort that brings security and stability to the region. A statement issued by the Syrian government said shortly after a meeting between Turkish Prime Minister Recep Erdogan and President Bashar Assad in Damascus Saturday. Erdogan said that Turkey will try to do its best to advance Israeli and Syrian peace efforts. Hamas is still waiting for an official response from Israel to the group's readiness to declare a six-month truce, Hamas leaders said Saturday. They said the Egyptian authorities, which have been mediating between Israel and Hamas, have yet to come back with an official response. In an interview on Al Jazeera, Khaled Marshall said that Hamas was ready to cooperate, but added that it is a tactic in conducting the struggle. Yossi Harel, commander of the legendary Jewish immigrant ship Exodus and the man responsible for bringing some 24,000 illegal immigrants between 1945 and 48, died Saturday in Tel Aviv, aged 90. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television website that broadcasts in four languages to the world.